so it is meant to blizzard like, yeah, yeah. from 550 meters up for yeah. most of the day. There's balaclavas, paramo trousers in, waterproof trousers, I mean there's just like everything. Yeah. Snazzy goggles there. Isn't it? Pretty flash, aren't they? <clears throat> A bit over halfway now, I would say. Morning! Have you got a part in the crime or is it so late? Oh, no, no, I have, I have friends. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ganji. That's awesome. So, the next bit, mm. the condition's probably about 10 o'clock, I'm going to deteriorate, so. Mm, but we'll finish that leg by then. You should just catch the front bit, but the next one will be really nasty. I've given the guys loads of extra kit. They've got like paramo trousers and waterproofs and all sorts. The thing that makes Sabrina extraordinary, more extraordinary than anybody else I know, is what she's done in the last year. Um, so, less than a year ago, she had her first attempt at this and did a day and a half and for various reasons stopped. Since then, since July, she's had a, she'd done the Wayne Wrights and okay, it didn't go absolutely to plan, so she's back doing it again. Then she set the Pennine Way record, Ladies Pennine Way record. Then she's set the Coast to Coast record on Boxing Day. And now she's doing this. And can you imagine anybody else on this planet who would do all of that and then want to come back and do another attempt at the Wainwrights in 10 months? Well, she's so far ahead of schedule that we're having to kind of reshuffle all of the runners because um, obviously got other commitments as well. So there's a few people who've dropped out of certain legs and then others who've stepped up to do more. So it's hard to say what it's going to be like at the moment. They're forecasting blizzards on the top for the next about eight hours. So it could be pretty horrible up there and it's going to be wet below that. She's got time in hand, so there's no problem with stopping. But um, it's the weather window. Or the weather, the weather is going to be bad for longer than she'd want to stop anyway. So at some point, she's going to have to go out on it. It's not about the record for her. Definitely yeah. not. When you ask her about it and talk to her about it, she says, "I just want to go out and enjoy the running." And I, I mean, I think behind that, she is driven to do that as fast as she can. I think she's just determined in that way. I think her sleep strategy is better this time round. She's eating well this time. The only sort of difference here is that we've got this next, I don't know, probably six, eight hours where the weather's going to be pretty rough. It's the hardest thing I ever did, and it knackered me for two or three years afterwards. Um, so yeah, it's mammoth, um, and it's really hard mentally as well. Um, and you know, way Sabrina's doing it with no sleep as well. I couldn't do it like that. She's pushing that boundary. 